Let's dig into the future. Now we're going to be talking about artificial intelligence. There are a couple of things coming up. So on the one hand, human level reasoning, but that's actually the least interesting thing. What about the development of a semi or fully autonomous artificial intelligence that bootstraps its own knowledge by creating its own synthetic training data? Wow. Now let's dig into that. So. About four or five months ago, there was a leak from within the OpenAI household, basically that uh, said that there was an internal project called the QSTAR project. We saw it splurged all across the internet and everything else. And it was generally thought that this project was trying to develop human levels of reasoning within OpenAI's artificial intelligences. Now, bearing in mind that when you get an artificial intelligence that does indeed have a human level of reasoning, then that gets us closer to artificial general intelligence, AGI, which we slate at about 2028 to 2030. And that's a whole story in itself that I might talk about later. Um, however, that is not the real news. So when we have a look at Project Strawberry, Project Strawberry's artificial intelligence is bootstrapping its own knowledge and boosting its own intelligence by being allowed to create its own synthetic training data. However, that's interesting, but it's also being allowed to do it semi and fully autonomously. So now we start putting all of this together. What you have in a kind of like GPT-5 wrapper, however OpenAI decide to really announce these future innovations, is you have an artificial intelligence which is nearing human levels of reasoning. You are also starting to get an artificial intelligence that is able to make itself smarter. That's it. Um, yeah, when we actually have a look at that piece of news, what happens when AIs can indeed autonomously make themselves smarter? Uh, and there's a whole ton of conversations we can actually have about the quality basically, of these artificial intelligences that use synthetic training data that they actually made up. It's kind of like that junk in, junk out uh, philosophy. But that's it from me. If you really want to understand the impacts of all of these, then DM me. Uh, if you want me to talk about anything else, then again, DM me or put something in the comments and I will create a little video blog for that as well. But as for me, I'm out and I'll see you in the future. Goodbye.